Hi. Mm, so good. That's enough. Uh-uh, can't help myself. <laughs> ingredients don't call for your fingers, spice. I'm using the other fingers. Stop. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, no, it's mm -mm. not funny. Mm -mm. I, come on, I've been doing this all day. <laughs> Sorry. I know you've been slaving over a hot stove. Tomorrow, put on something nice, the button down that I like, and I'll take you dancing. I want to show off your moves, Travolta. What, 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 okay. what? All right, you know what? You're a lunatic, you know that? I love you too. <laughs> hey, did my dad say something to you? Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Have you been drinking? No. You're drunk. No, I'm not. But I am pounding water heavily. Did my dad say something to you? He says like one or two words to me, four or five letters each. His face says everything. Well, according to my dad, murder and living in sin with a guy is the same thing. He said living in sin? He's going to. Is your dad like super religious? Irish Catholic. But he's only religious when it fits his agenda. And now, you're the reason I'm going to burn in hell. So he doesn't like me? I just hear him talking to people at his church about us living together. You know, but you just have to understand my dad's from a different era. Okay, is he telling you to tell me to marry you? You think highly of yourself. Of course, though, it will be you leaving me in the end. He wants me to move out. I don't know. He just said that he needed to talk to you, which is why I asked you if he already did. You know your dad, I don't. What's he gonna do to me? I have to take a leak. Can I tell you something? Yes. Promise to believe me. What is it? Promise to believe me. What is it? They put me in a coma, right? Yes. I could still hear things. Not from the doctors, not what was going around in the room, just... Uh, it's so hard to explain. Angela, just say it. Like these sounds, the same sounds, over and over and over again. And it's not like it's from the doctors. And it's not like what's going on in the room. It's, it, it's, like, it's like another language or like another way of thinking. You're not believing me. No, I am. No, I can see it on your face. Angela, I believe you, okay? It's just hard to explain. It's, it's another language saying that. I hear it again every night. It used to wake me up and drive me crazy, but I've heard it long enough now that I can... I can't explain it, but I can feel it. I can feel it, and I understand it now. Okay, what language? I don't know! It's, it's just hard to explain, just that something is coming together, coming together somehow, and something bad is going to happen, and I don't know what. And I feel like something's fighting me to be me. When I talk, when I walk, like, what is wrong with me, Pete? Okay, listen, listen, the lawyer your dad got, he, he said we have a great case. He's going to petition the court and, and file a motion to have you come home. Who's that priest? Father Lozano? Who is he? He runs the hospital church. We met him the first time he came in. I guess he and your dad train at the same base thing? It's a small world. I'm really scared of that. I'm scared of everybody. Okay, listen to me. If I was in here, we should be worried. But you? You, you can beat anything. You versus these, these walls. Guess who I'm putting my money on. Just guess. If something happens to me... Nothing is going to happen to you. If something happens to me, I need you to be here for me. When something happens to me, I need you to be here with me. Why do you think something will happen?
Do you remember the medicine prescribed to you after your finger was infected? No. You were given Augmentin. Normally used when in hospital care. Why this was prescribed to you, my assumption is that the doctor who administered your stitches incorrectly feared repercussions. So he made a mistake? I need your help to make sure. Were you drinking a lot of water while your finger was infected? I was dehydrated and my throat was dry. It still is. Are you experiencing any other side effects? I'm tired. Any other feelings? Anything at all? Just tired. Angela, you've been complaining about night terrors. No, I haven't. If you're hearing voices, that's not a side effect of diazepam or chondroitin, so we need to find the root cause of this and treat it effectively. You listen to my conversation? Your silence during these sessions is counterproductive to treatment. I want to be honest with you. Can you just be honest with me? Can you tell me what you said to the detective before he killed himself? When you walked into the maternity ward, uh, let me see, I'm, I'm going off reading your lips here. You claim that the babies were in your father's house. What does that mean? I want to be honest with you. Can you be honest with me? I can't be honest with you. Why not? Because you are not. I assure you, Angela, I am. No. You just want to be superior. You're going to leave here and go see your own psychiatrist and complain about the staff and the patients and how your boyfriend left you to go back to his wife, but you still fuck him on the nights that he can get away, and you fucked him in his car, in the school parking lot, while his wife watched the school play. That's your truth. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. 